Hi, this is Matt. This video is going to show you how to convert your print books to ebooks for free with nothing but an iPhone and Google Docs. So what we're doing here is just getting a setup to take good pictures of your books. You can use natural lighting. You can just be a by a window. This is a light box. Uh, you can use a cardboard box with tissue paper. You just want to make sure you have lighting from the sides like this is because you're going to be taking photos from the top down. And here we have the book. Again, you just want natural lighting from the sides. And what you're going to do is set up your iPhone to take pictures straight down. You can use a cheap tripod or you can just hold it with your hand if you're steady. I'm using coins here just to hold the pages down. Um, you're going to want something heavy just to hold the pages flat. Okay, so what you're going to do is open up notes on your iPhone. And you're going to select scan document and this interface is what it looks like and you can see that the shutter there is being triggered manually you can use auto but sometimes it'll take a photo when your pages aren't quite flat and you'll get some fuzziness or distortion so what I do here is I hit the capture button each time and just hit keep scan go to the next page flip the page here Hold it down with the coin, touch that center white capture button right there. Keep the scan if it looks good and move on. And that's all we're doing here. You can see how quickly this goes. It goes by pretty fast. So I'm going to show you a chapter here, but you could easily take pictures of an entire book this way, two pages at once, uh, within 10 or 15 minutes, depending on how long the book is. Okay, this is the last page capture. Now what that does is it saves itself as a PDF in your notes right here. So from here, you've got everything scanned in as a PDF, but these are still images. So this next step uses a really excellent part of Google Docs to do optical character recognition and make it text. But as you can see, the text comes in kind of garbled, different sizes. So what you want to do is what we're doing here. Convert everything to the same size, make everything the same color, make everything the same sort of text. And that's going to get you to a pretty good baseline. There's still going to be mistakes in the text. You can see here the whole thing is aligned to the wrong area. So we're also going to select all and move it to a left alignment. Now. OCR isn't perfect, especially in Google Docs, which is this free version. There's always going to be mistakes. And it's up to you how long you want to spend editing the document. If you want a good result, you might have to proofread through and at least correct some of the big mistakes, like this is a number instead of an I. Uh, hyphens often get messed up. Page breaks get inserted or deleted. You can see here the title at the page and also the page numbers down below, those often get inserted. So you're gonna to wanna to go through and delete those. You can do a kind of a find and replace to get rid of all of them. And as you can see here, I had a bad scan on one page, which is really interesting because you can see how many more mistakes is in this kind of this block of this paragraph. So I'll correct a few of those remove the italics to check the formatting. And again, you can go through and make tweaks to this. Uh, a lot of stuff online, people just convert it like right away. Um, so you'll see a lot of these mistakes crop up. Now this on the left is the Google Docs conversion. You can just do download, save as, basically download as an EPUB and boom, you're done. And this is the file you get. And you can see it's not bad. There's some mistakes. It's adding a lot of spaces. This one on the right is a conversion through Calibre, which is an open source piece of software. It runs on Mac, PC, and Linux. Um, this did a much better job doing the conversion. There weren't as many mistakes. Uh, you can also edit a lot of the metadata, which I'll show in a minute. So, you know, essentially step one, if you just want a simple ebook, you're done. Google Docs will do it for you. If you want a more advanced version, 
this is what the Calibre interface looks like. And you can see here I've added the metadata. You put in the ISBN, the, the kind of the code of the book, which is always in the cover. Uh, and what that does is it can actually search for all the information, the author, the title, the description, and it'll import all that for you. The other thing that it can do is download the cover of the book and it'll search open source. You can see Google, Amazon, Open Library. In this case, the only available cover was a terrible one. So I have the source book. I just took a, my own photo and inserted that in to the ebook. And that's it. Thanks very much.